Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be making a special one for you OG Destiny 1 supporters. We're actually going to be going all the way back to the very first mission of Destiny 1 in the Cosmodrome of the EDZ or Earth. You don't know how long I've been looking for you. To get the Kvostov assault rifle, the OG White Ghost, and the OG ship that you took off to fly from Earth to the tower. We are going to be acquiring these three OG items in today's video. So if you guys want to give your character that nostalgic like look with like, you know, the gun and the ghost as well as the ship, then we're going to get all of that stuff in today's video. So you guys just get ready. Alrighty. So the way to actually begin this is the moment you log on to Destiny 2 into Shadow Keep, you're going to fly over to the tower and you're going to talk to Banshee44. When you do that, he is going to give you a pain and gain exotic quest. All you gotta do for this quest is complete a lost sector on the EDZ. You have to complete a, a, night, a nightfall strike, which isn't that hard because everybody for Shadowkeep have been scaled up to 750. And, you know, the, the lowest nightfall strike is actually 750, which is adept, which is really not that hard. You know, you guys uh, can find a team through matchmaking or with your friends and, you know, bang that out real quick. So the moment that you bang that out, you then have to get a heroic public event, which I'm pretty sure all of you guys know how to do. There's some pretty easy ones on the EDZ, um, as well as the moon even, uh, and, you know, IO, Nessus, all that type of stuff. So all you got to do is complete one of them and you should be good. And then now to where we are currently at is pain and gain, risk and reward. He, you're going to go back to Banshee44, you're going to acquire this next quest step and then now all you have to do is go over to the EDZ and start up this mission called the risk and reward. Like I said, um, the whole point of this quest is to get the Risk Runner and the Catalyst for the Risk Runner, but we're not going to be doing that. We are actually going to be doing something in the mission uh, in order to get the three OG items. So, um, without further ado, we're going to get right into the mission and um, yeah, just follow pretty much everywhere that I go. Alrighty guys, so when you spawn into the Cosmodrome, you guys are going to see this old place, if you guys remember from Destiny 1, the Cosmodrome. Oh my god, when I first came here, um, on my main character, which is a Warlock, right now currently I'm playing on my Titan, um, but when I first came here, the first thing that came to mind was the farm of the exotic swords man oh my god they were so grindy and so irritating that it was it was hell okay i'm, I'm not gonna lie it was literally hell um but anyways this is all just coming back to me guys it's it's crazy uh but anyways so what happens is in order to actually acquire these three items you need to kill this dust walker when you kill this dust walker there's going to be a chest that spawns about right there which should have the loot in for you now the only thing that okay so as you can see we killed it um the only thing is that it's not gonna show that i get any of the items only because i already got them on my warlock so you can't get them on multiple characters because obviously you could just buy them again and just, you know, give it to your other characters. Like, as you guys can see, I'm not going to get it. Now, if this is your very first time doing this, which most of you guys probably are, you just have to kill them over and over again until you get the three. Now, when you kill them the first time, don't kill the captains and just leave because he does respawn. You don't have to, like, leave... Um, go into orbit or anything like that um, You literally just have to wait till he comes back as you guys can see. I think he's coming back right now Yep, yeah, there he is so all you got to do is wait a couple seconds and then he'll come back kill him again open the chest and you should get the three items uh, that uh, We are trying to get in today's video. So yeah guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video Sorry, I didn't get to show you guys like me actually getting it at the time, I just wasn't recording at the time. That was my fault. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually just going to switch to my uh, Warlock and just show you. Alrighty, guys. So, as you guys can see, bang, there it is. The Kvostov 7G02. 
This is like the OG, OG Kvostov. It doesn't even have any perks or none of that, other than obviously adaptive frame. But you can't like infuse it or anything like that. So sadly, when you get it, that is the light level that is going to be stuck with. But honestly, I don't even mind because... Yo, it, it's the Kvostov. I mean, at least I have it, you know? So, there you go. Um, the Kvostov is an auto rifle. The OG one back at Destiny 1, which is really hype. And then, if we go over here to the ship, the Arcadia class jump ship. This was back in that mission, if you guys remember. Hold on, let me show you guys without the shader. Uh, because I did put on a Bumblebee one. But, there it is, dude. Look at that. I mean, I don't remember if it looked maybe a little bit different or not, but... I can definitely tell that this is the same exact ship from back in Destiny 1 when you like first started this game. And honestly, it's hype. I've, I've, I had to like equip it because it's just bringing back nostalgia, you know what I mean? And then the very last thing that you can acquire is the Generalist Shell. This guy, oh my god, this guy right here revived you from the dead and made you start your journey as a guardian. Like. Holy shit, the, it's just crazy. I don't know. It's, it's nuts that they, you know, they actually brought this back into the game for you to actually acquire. I find it really cool and really dope because, yo, I mean, I, I wanted, you know, a little hint of, um, you know, nostalgia and, and all the OG stuff back into this game. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is pretty cool. So, yeah, if you guys found this video helpful or anyway exciting, Please smash that like button, hit that red subscribe button, and comment down below what do you think of new Shadowkeep. If you guys actually like it, if you guys don't like it, if you guys think there should be more content off rip, I would love to know what you guys are thinking. So yeah, let me know down in the comment section below. Alright guys, I'm gonna end it off right here. It's been your boy Andrew, and I'm out. Laters!